Hi, Jacob, Unisport Web TV, with the first review in 2015. Because today I'm gonna take a look at the third generation of the Adidas 11 Pro, where Kangaroo Leather has finally made a return. Now, our friends at Adidas were so kind to hook me up with this blackout test model so I could test the bejesus out of the 11 Pro. But obviously, for your viewing pleasure, I'm gonna use the launch colorway of the 11 Pro today. Let's go. Now, on the 11 Pro, comfort has been a main focus since the first generation released. But on the third generation, Adidas have really stepped it up a notch because they've said goodbye to Taurus leather and finally reintroduced the Kangaroo leather upper that we also know from the Adipure series. But the upper on the new 11 Pro is quite something because Adidas have actually kept the number of stitches to an absolute minimum. And how have they done that? Well, actually, they've made this super thin top layer of kangaroo leather and then actually stabilized it with this engineered support skeleton, as they call it, which is basically this honeycomb-like pattern you can see here on the inside. And basically, it's a synthetic mesh that lies between the kangaroo layer and the inner lining to really give some stability to the upper and allow the kangaroo leather to keep its shape without overstretching. And actually, you feel that immediately when you step into the 11 Pro because even out of the box, the fit is incredibly good. It almost feels like it's personally made for your feet. At least, that's how I felt. Now, another benefit of this support skeleton is that it adds some sort of structural stability to the upper that helps you when you're twisting and turning because it feels like your foot is being kept a little bit more on the sole plate to avoid you sliding around in the boot, which I quite like, actually. Before I tried the 11 Pro, I had a fear that the support skeleton would be too stiff and restrictive to actually wrap nicely around my foot. But boy, was I put in place when I actually tried it on because after a few sessions, it softened up really, really nicely. So even if it feels a bit stiff initially, give it a bit of time and it will mold to your feet. Now, other changes on the 11 Pro are made to the tongue and the heel. And looking at the tongue, it's actually quite thin without feeling bulky, which is pretty good. But also it has these little pads of memory foam to avoid lace bite. On a negative note, it tends to move quite a lot to the side when you play. And no, it's not a deal breaker, but still something I thought should be mentioned. But perhaps the biggest change comes on the heel cup, where Adidas have actually made it hug your heel a lot more to provide quite a lot more lockdown. And this means that finally your heel doesn't feel like it's slipping out of the boot all the time, which was a major problem for me in the 11 Pro 2. Another thing that's pretty good about the heel part is this little memory foam pad on the insole, because when you pull your laces tight, it really hugs the bottom part of your heel to make it feel like a really soft bed that your heel is descending into. I know it sounds incredibly stupid, but this is really, really comfortable when you pull the laces tight. Now, fit-wise, the 11 Pro is pretty true to size. I went with my usual size 40 and got a pretty good fit. But since the toe box is just a little bit roomy, if you want a completely tight fit, you can go down half a size. And also, since the 11 Pro is a relatively wide boot and has this deep lacing, it's probably gonna fit both wide-footed players and players with relatively slim feet, like myself. On the flip side of things, AKA the sole plate, there's nothing new under the sun because Adidas are still using their comfort frame also seen on the 11 Pro 2. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because it worked really well and so does it on the 11 Pro 3. Now the comfort frame is made as a relatively wide outsole with focus on distributing pressure and you actually feel that when you move around, especially when you twist and turn in tight spaces, where you really feel the sole plate is a pretty solid base to move from. Now, despite the comfort frame moving pretty nicely with the foot, I would have liked a little bit more flexibility under the full foot. It's a minor thing, but perhaps something I would have added if I were to decide. Now, looking at the studs, they're all relatively short to keep your foot as close to the ground as possible and to also eliminate the stud pressure on each stud. And also, they're a bit rounded to allow you to move more smoothly through the ground without having to drag 
the boot. To be honest, it works pretty well. I haven't felt any discomfort at all. But on the other hand, you won't get any aggressive grip or acceleration in the 11 Pro. But then again, it's not what the boot is made for, so it's pretty much okay. Now, when it comes to the touch on the ball, the 11 Pro is pretty unique and doesn't feel like most other classic leather boots. Because the upper is so thin that your foot is being kept incredibly close to the ball, where you can really feel every little touch. And it actually feels a bit like a synthetic, in the sense that you can feel everything, but it's still got this soft padded feel that we get from kangaroo leather. So it's a bit of a nice little combination. Now, a bit of a fear I had around the support skeleton was that it might feel a little bit too bulky when you were on the ball, but fortunately, that's not the case. And on the other hand, I expected it to give some sort of friction between the boot and the ball to add a little bit of grip. But again, I haven't really noticed anything, so you're pretty much on your own there. Anyway, to sum it up, the 11 Pro does feel really unique around the ball, much like the Tiembo Legend 5 with a really, really thin, but still kind of soft and padded upper. Now, shooting-wise, it is pretty much the same, where you get a straightforward, clean strike on the ball. And because you are so close to it, again, you can feel everything you do, but with just enough material between your foot and the ball for it not to hurt. I do wish that the toe box would have been a little bit lower for me to get perfectly under the ball, but it is a very minor detail though. In terms of grip and swerve, don't expect something predator-like because again, you don't get that much grip on the ball and it's pretty much up to yourself. But the 11 Pro is a no-nonsense boot when it comes to striking the ball. It does what it's supposed to and it feels really good. So, all in all, this is the best 11 Pro by a mile and also one of the more well-rounded Adidas boots in a while. Why? Well, this combination between a soft leather upper with this support skeleton works really well. The comfort is amazing and it's just a no-nonsense football boot that delivers what it promises. But what do you guys think about the new 11 Pro? And do you like the black or the white slash orange one more? You should let me know in the comment section below. Because this was all I have for you for today, but we're back again later with more reviews here in Newsport Web TV. Signing off, cheerio.